Those are some good numbers, Claire. I also have some more good numbers to talk about in the forecast. We're starting to see the humidity on the lower side. So dew points are starting out. Feels more comfortable outside if you're walking the dog this morning. It's going to feel pretty nice for you as you do that. As we look at satellite, we do have just a few clouds up around the Cincinnati area over the past couple of hours. They've started to trickle into the Lexington area right here in central Kentucky, but we're not as bad off as those further to the south right now. Nashville and Tennessee, they're coming in with quite a bit of cloud cover. And of course, the further south that you travel, that's where you'll start to see more of those rain showers as well. We've had just a couple of showers popping up here so far in central Kentucky, but that's a beautiful shot overlooking the 21C Museum Hotel. So that's a lovely shot outside this morning. I just mentioned a few minutes ago. I love sunrise shots. So hopefully we'll continue to keep those nice views coming. Here's a look at Max Track Doppler. We are tracking just a few of those spotty showers right now, just south of the Ohio River there, just south of Ohio into Kentucky. But a lot of those are kind of pushing out of our viewing area. We've had a few sprinkles, few showers, a couple little pockets of maybe some more heavier downpours a little bit further over into western Kentucky. Now there's also the potential to see maybe a little bit of fog outside this morning. It looks like maybe Harlan, Jackson, Pikeville area. So your counties in southeastern Kentucky have actually seen a little bit more fog on the development this morning. So there's a little bit of moisture left over in the atmosphere from that cold front that pushed through. But for us here in Richmond, Danville, Lexington, even my hometown, Mount Vernon, we're seeing pretty much clear conditions outside as far as the fog goes. So once we start to see that uptick in humidity, we may have the potential to see some more fog tomorrow morning, and you'll notice those rain chances do ramp up a little bit more by the time we're finishing up this week and heading into the weekend. But take a look at today and tomorrow. 10 20% chance that's basically minimal rain chances, which is good news, which means you can have the day to maybe get some of those outdoor activities done. I know we've had some good soakers coming through, so your yard may be mowing and may may need mowing rather. So you'll be able to do that today. Future track showing a few more of those patchy clouds outside. We'll see that nice mixture of clouds and sunshine lingering. It's possible there's that 20% chance. Maybe just a couple of little blips want to pop up on the radar a little bit later in southern Kentucky later on this afternoon. Heading into Wednesday night. Tonight we're going to start to see those skies clearing back out. Lovely shot for tomorrow morning. We should see some more sun up and shining. And then as we push closer toward Thursday and Friday, that's when we'll notice the humidity starts to make its comeback and we'll also start to see more of those rain chances through the extended forecast. Looks like rain is on the horizon for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, maybe even Monday and Tuesday next week as we keep things in the low to the mid 80s.